here we go. We are now going to move on to. Oh, I gotta close that one. And badgers. Uh, all right. So this this we're gonna go up back to the beginning, guys. And after after arrows, we are going to add four variables. Bad timer equals one hundred. Bad timer one is zero. Bad guys equals a nested, a two dimensional list. 640 is 100. And health value is 194. It's a list inside of a list, yep. List inside of a list. 640 100 is the starting slash spawn point of the first badger. So if you want your first bad guy to start in a different spot or a random spot, this is where you mess with the code. This is where you change it. What's that face for, Lauren? Okay, I'm just taking. Uh, I'm taking a sec for you guys to catch up. Does, but does that make sense? That's an X Y coordinate for your badger to spawn at. Why do you do it in two dimensional? Because we're doing the exact same thing we do with the arrows. It's just with arrows, we start with an empty list. Oh. With bad guys, we start with this first list. So you'll use a for loop to go through all that. We'll, go, we'll use a for loop to go through the badgers as well, which is why the more badgers and more arrows, the slower your code goes. I love badgers. Yeah. Okay. You could actually have this spawn badgers like one every tenth of a second and just have like a swarm of zombie badgers, which someone did, I think someone did once. So really <laughs> slow moving, but there's just a horde of them. <laughs> So, um, bad timer, this is the original spawn rate. It originally starts at 100 cycles. When I say cycle, that's how quickly it can loop through your code, right? You get about 20 cycles per second. So that's about every five, you know, three to five seconds, you're gonna spawn a bad guy. What this bad timer one does decreases the spawn rate so they spawn faster and faster. It is 100, and the second time it's 100, the third time it's like 90, the fourth time it's 80, and then it's 70 and it's 60. Then it gets up to like 30 cycles, 30 cycles, it spawns one. Instead of 100, it brings it down to 30, and then it's spawning like once every second. You're getting a badger, right? So I'm gonna show you the math to deal with that, but that's what these two are for. Health value is 194. I realize that's very specific, but that's the pixel width of our health bar. So, just making, just letting you guys know. Okay, again, we need our bad guy image, so I'm just gonna copy our arrow image and hit V, and instead of uh, arrow, it's bad guy image. How do you not have an arrow image? Oh, yeah. Now, my source code also has a... Uh, I don't know why it does that, so I'm going to skip that line. Wait, do you think that maybe that's why my code isn't shooting arrows? Because like, it says bullet and then the rest of my code says arrow. Are you getting an error? Yeah. So, guys, when you when you play your game... Errors pop up over here. So when you break something, you may your code may just freeze in here, but red text will populate over here and this tells you what's wrong. Right? Don't just say my code's froze. It tells you exactly why there's an error over here. Wait, so quick question. Yes. Do we have arrow and we have arrows? No, you have no. arrows is the list of arrows. So that's kind of confusing. Yes, arrow is the image, arrows is the list. Okay. Um, all right, so we got bad guy image. Bad guy IMG. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go bad timer minus equal one. Oop. 
So there's a couple ways to increase the rate at which bad guys spawn. One of them is have this timer be two or three or four or five. We're gonna stick with one. Next thing, blah, 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 blah. We already coded all that. Okay, here we go. We are going to scroll down before pygame.flip, right? We're gonna put that way down there because we don't wanna accidentally screw it up. We don't wanna mess with that because we wanna have all of our blitted images blitted before we update the screen. This is everything we just wrote. That blitz our person, our rotated image for the bunny. Oh, so you have that the yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go if bad timer equal equals zero. So if our timer has counted down to zero, if if, if, if you change that bad timer to be minus two or minus three or minus four or minus five, you should make this to be less than zero. Because if your bad timer is, let's say, on a four, right, it counts down, hits four, and then goes minus five, it never hits zero and your guys won't spawn. So I'm gonna put a little reminder here. If bad timer minus equal one is changed to bigger number, change this to less than zero. Does that make sense to you guys? If we start at 100 and we subtract by three, will we ever hit zero? No. Technically, no. If we go down by four, will we? Yes, if we go down by five, will we? Yes, if we go down by six. So if we go down by two, maybe. If, depending on if you, 198, 97, it's easier. So what you do is you change it to be net less than zero. So if it once it hits a negative number, it spawns a bad guy. Michael. Then the plus zero. No, because it's always minus one. So it'll always hit zero. To be safe, you very well, you could totally go less less than or equal. Thank you. Less than or equal to. You can, yeah. The comment then. What do you mean by the comment? If this is equal equal zero, right? And my bad timer. Let's say bad timer starts at five. If I subtract four every time, I'll never hit zero. If I subtract three every time, because I want to speed up the rate at which bad guys spawn, I'll never actually hit zero. However, if I do minus one, if five, four, three, two, one, zero. It will always hit zero if it's minus one. If it's anything besides minus one, it, it, there's a chance it won't hit zero. Therefore, it won't spawn your badger. Therefore, you won't have a bad guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's a good idea if we just do this negative or less than or equal to zero. Does the same thing, right? You don't have to worry. If you do this, we don't need this at all. Save. Um, Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to bad guy it. Bad guys dot, Lauren, your favorite list command? Append. Append. <laughs> we are basically, we want the bad guys to always spawn right at the edge of the, we want our bad guy, say this is our bad guy image, right? We want it always to spawn here. We don't want it to spawn too far out because then we have to wait for it to travel and we don't want to spawn it right here. Right, and where is the image of our when we have an image? Where's the if we want to spawn an image at x y? What part of that image is at x y? The top left. The top left, right? So if we spawn this at six forty, it's going to spawn right at the edge. Does that make sense? Because this top left is the spawn point. It's the point of the image that gets spawned, Jack. If you do that, it'll bring it in this way. You just need 640. What? 
No, we want it to spawn just outside the screen. We don't want it to spawn way out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it 640, right? But then we also, we don't want it to always spawn. We don't want it to always spawn in the same spot. So we want it to randomly pick on that Y axis where to, where to spawn, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make the, it, the X and Y coordinate of this bad guy 640, right? Because we always want to spawn at the very left, wait, the very right of the screen. I had to double check. And then we're going to do random dot rand int. I do 50 to 430. Now, did I forget to do something with random? I forgot to import it. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come up here, uh, import pi game, comma, random, or comma, math, comma, random. Wait, what you need to go back to? Yep, that? right here. No. I mean, you can, it won't work yet. Oh, darn, I only got five minutes. Okay. Who's caught up? Oh, Soren. So it's not 4 or 50, it's 430, and that's taken, like, so the image won't spawn below. Yeah. It's so the image isn't halfway on the screen. Yeah. That's yeah. So then we're going to go bad timer equals 100. This is where we change how quickly the bad guys spawn. If you don't want this in your video game, you don't have to have this at all. But bad timer oop, is 100 minus bad timer one times two so what changes the the time between spawn bad guy spawning so it gets faster as you go on yep that's exactly what it does but we need to tell it to increase bad timer so we're just going to go if bad timer one is greater than 35 bad timer one equals 35 so no matter what once it hits 35 it won't get any bigger so if bad timer one here is 35 what's the max what's the no greater or equal to no, we're, there's a second part to this, but I haven't gotten there yet. Is it counting down to 35? Guys, there, there's two timers. Bad timer, bad timer one. Bad timer is when bad timer hits zero, that's when a bad guy spawns. That's at 100. What's bad timer one? Bad timer one is what shrinks the interval. Right, so instead of it being 100... You need, in order to get from 100 to 70, you need to do what? You need to subtract something, right? What we're doing is we're making that something get bigger and bigger so that the time in between spawning gets smaller and smaller. So, and I'll go through it on the board in just a second. So when bad timer equals 35, if it's greater or equal than 35, bad timer one is always going to be 35. Meaning our bad timer, the, the rate in between spawning is all is uh at its smallest amount right so the fastest it will spawn is what 35 times 35 35 oh, 30, times 2 is 30, 30 yep 30 so it comes it goes from 100 and then like i said so it's like 100 100 90 80 70 60 50 40 30 and then it stays at 30 does that make sense? And then else, so as long as it, this only will change bad timer if it, or I'm, you know, I'm just going to type this bad timer plus equal five. So if bad timer is greater or equal to 35, it's going to stay at 35. Otherwise, add five to it until it gets to 35. And then it's just going to start all over. Again. Well, then it just stays at 35. Otherwise, it's gonna go yeah. So again, if you want your character, if you want your spawn rate to increase faster, you just change plus equal five. 
another way to change the spawn rate of badgers is changing five to another number. Is it the five and two? Are badger bag Yeah. Before? What? Is it the five and those two of those hashtags before? No, I just do it. Okay. Because if I have I, I just do it for two. Um, okay, then what we need to do is index is zero. Oh, we're so close. We have two minutes. Okay. Uh, for bad guy and bad guys, if bad, this will be your this will be part of your homework. Zero less than negative sixty four. So again, we're doing the same thing here for the bad guys in our bad guy list, for our bad guy in bad guys list. If it gets off the screen, we're gonna delete it, just like we did with the arrows. Except with the arrows, we had to cover all four sides of our window. With badgers, we only have to do one because they're moving from the right to the left. And they're only moving in one direction. Then we're gonna go bad guy zero minus equals seven. This is the speed of the badger moving across the screen. Uh, index plus equal one, darn it. That's fine, just go. Screen dot blit, uh, bad guy image at bad guy. And I think if you, if, hold oh, on, oh, please let that work. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, you do. I'm just going to give you guys the stuff. Uh, again, I'm going to post the code that you guys need to mess with. I'm going to put syntax errors in there to prove that you guys aren't just copying and pasting. In order for your code to work, you need to find them. There won't be many, but syntax errors will be like, it's a period instead of a comma. I'm missing a parenthesis. I'm missing a period or something like that. Yeah. Not logic, I'm not gonna do anything we haven't covered before. It'll all just be those little errors everyone makes. Wait, oh. what are we doing? Just like putting in code? If you copy and paste the code for Thursday, it won't work. Could we find the error? You guys will find the errors. I want you to find the syntax errors, change them, so and then have your code work for Thursday. So we copy and paste and then change the code. You copy and paste it, uh, fix the errors, and come Thursday ready for it to work. What is the code? What, is it? what are we doing? You're doing the winning and losing screen. So when you lose, a screen pops up. When you win, a different screen pops up. Uh, but that's it. So that'll take a, that'll take part of our homework later off. Hang on, let me stop the video and then.